Yeah, did you watch it? Well, afterwards, the uh, polls are still showing this race is very, very close. Will either candidate, though, see a bump from last night's debate? Political analyst Tom Serafin here this morning. And, and Tom, i got to ask, a lot of people are focused on the who won the debate. But I think a more important question is who will win votes from this debate. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about that? Well, in the immediate poll taken afterwards by CNN, which we have talked about in the past, last night was 48 for the president, 40 for uh, Mitt Romney, the the Republican governor and underneath those numbers they asked did the performances at the debate last night change your vote 24% mm -hmm. said they would more likely vote for President Obama 25% more likely to vote for Mitt Romney wow. so it's kind of a wash right now this morning I mean the spin rooms are active and we'll see how they do on the campaign trail but nobody really made a mistake last night I mean you, you know no, what struck me last night Tom was if, if you came to the presidential race late and just watched last night you, you would have gotten the impression that uh, Mitt Romney was way out in front and was very relaxed and didn't have to work too hard to, to get any votes where the president was was feisty and aggressive and kept coming after him Romney refused to engage but that was was all strategic, was it not? Right. Their polls are showing that Mitt Romney has got the momentum right now in the last two weeks, and he's doing well. He's picking up votes. He's, you know, some polls show him winning in Florida. He was doing better in Ohio than we expected. In the seven swing states, he's competitive right now, where President uh, Obama was, was winning two weeks mm -hmm. ago. And so nationally, it's tied 47-47, Wall Street Journal poll yesterday. So it's a dead heat. But he's coming on strong, so he mm -hmm. doesn't want to make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. The president knows he's losing votes, and he's got to fight and come in at, at, at Mitt Romney and try to get some knockouts. I thought the president did a real fine job as a debater last night. But I thought Mitt Romney did a very job, very nice job appealing to those non-committed voters right or the people in the middle he did, he wasn't a warmonger he wasn't bush like he wasn't going to start a war in fact i think he said i come in peace <laughs> well you know and that's interesting because do you think he missed opportunities though because he seemed to agree with the president more than he disagreed on several very key issues of foreign policy and that may confuse a lot of undecided to say wait a minute if you're just like the president why don't we just stick with him much to the chagrin of the uh, of the democrats he agreed more often than not because the democrats will tell you that he's been off to the right. He wants to start wars. He wants to do this. He wants to do that. Last night, he wasn't anything like that at all. And uh, he was appealing towards the middle, attacking towards the middle, trying to get those independent voters. So, uh, you know, that's what he needs in order to pull over the finish line. Remember, there are more Democrats than there are Republicans. And his, his base is enthusiastic right now. They're out to vote. And President Obama needs his votes to come out. And, and right now, they're not as enthusiastic. Right. Do we have time to show that one clip real quickly? There was, there was one moment of high drama last night. we got to show yeah. Yeah. where uh, Romney criticized the president for allowing the number of ships in the Navy to decline to the lowest number since it was like, a zinger. like 1916. The president responded with this. You mentioned the Navy, for example, and that we have fewer ships than we did in 1916. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. We have these things called aircraft carriers where planes land on them. Yeah, <laughs> he seemed to be taking that I'm the president, I've been executing yeah. foreign policy tone throughout. Well, it also we could come across as a little condescending and sarcastic, too, to some. It, yeah. it, it yeah. was. Yeah. And the irony of all ironies, most people thought the president was more on the attack last night, which he was. And you brought this up in the past. Uh, but the likability quotient, which the president has won in the past, he didn't win last night. The likability question to the voters was, you know, who, who is more likable? It was a, a dead eat, a, a, a tie. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Obama lost that edge by being on the attack. Romney won that edge. Fascinating stuff. Yes, it is. It really is. Tom, appreciate your insights, Thank as you. always. Thank you, Tom.